12:30. Today I am having such a lazy day. As you can see, I have a lot to get done today. Um, just wearing these Fabletics leggings. Um, I'm not sure of the color. I will look and link them below. Um, my new Burks, second pair of Burks I've ever had. Love them. And this is just Jared's apps shirt. Feeling comfy today. Um, I slept in and been trying to get some stuff done. Um, did some things, went down and grabbed the mail, and that is going to lead me to my next thing. I did not plan to do this, but we're gonna do a little package haul because I never get five packages and I have five packages to open, so it's like amazing. Love it. <clears throat> um, I have a lot to get done today. I um, have been off work for almost a month, um, and I go back tomorrow. I'm so sad but also kind of ready just to get it over with. Um, I am finishing out my um, tech job and I'm soon transitioning to a nurse. So it is really exciting, but like, ugh, at the same time, if you feel me. Um, so let's go see what I got in the mail. All right, here are the packages. This is one that I got yesterday, but I was too excited to open, so I opened it now. Or opened it yesterday. We're gonna look at it now. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Starting with the first thing. Um, for Christmas, my mom is a sweet little angel. She got me some figs. I have worked in healthcare for almost eight years. I know they haven't probably been around that long, but this is my first pair of figs, and I'm so excited. Um, these are for my nursing job, so I cannot wear them yet but um i actually bought them on clearance so i couldn't return them so i was like oh i hope that they're the right size and then we just went back and ordered some more yesterday when i tried them on and they fit and i ordered some different ones um but at my job i have to wear this color um not necessarily top um but definitely bottoms so i think i have like three or four bottoms and then um like two tops maybe um so when the rest of that gets in i'm going to do a video of just figs um as a little try on haul but this one is um super cute it is the Cater katarina one pocket scrub top um wish i could tell you the name of this color off on my head it's not seal blue but it is similar to it and they do not carry it anymore other than on their clearance um section and then these are the um high-waisted zamora jogger yoga ones Ooh. um pockets in the back love that for putting your phone in there so awesome because i Hey, put my phone in these pockets, like work phone, I mean. Terrible, I always leave my phone sitting on the desk. Terrible. Okay, next we are going to open this one. Get some scissors. Some of these I do know what's in there and some I do not. Um, I'm surprised. 
This is literally like Christmas. This is great. Um, I got some of these. It's Rael, I think, Rael Beauty um, Miracle Patches. And looks like they have three different size in there, sizes in there. Um, overnight spot cover, um, drug-free, non-drying. Um, and I've been using the Hero brand. Highly recommend those too. Like, love them. I just think this is more bang for your buck. Um, and I like, I swear, I like put them on. This is so not great for my first video, but um, I don't have any makeup on right now, obviously. And this one was like big cystic. It's probably because of my diet. Um, I'm guessing because I haven't been wearing a mask since I've not been at work. Um, but this one, I've put one on there like a couple nights and it's literally just dissolved um, and goes away. The same situation over here. Um, but someone recommended these to me at my capstone and I was like, you know what? I'll try it because there are 52 in here and I think this was like $12. So rail beauty. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. So a little backstory on this. I got this from my mom for Christmas and she has literally been talking about how much she loves it. And so little stink and ordered it for me. It's the God bless this messy journal. Um, and it's just a journal. I've really wanted to get back into journaling. Um, writing has always been like my go-to thing and I really wish I would have done it in during nursing school because my mental health just, pew, just it was rough. So I wish I would have had this um, and actually done it or journaled or something. Um, and this is by Hannah Brown. Um, she was a bachelorette several years ago, um, and I just think she seems like a really awesome person. She seems great. So, don't do that. I'm give myself some first aid over here if I keep that up. I'm sure you didn't see that because at me for the way that I open packages. I'm not really allowed to because I definitely slice my finger open several times. It's not allowed. So this looks like some Christmas presents. It is. Think for Jared, so we're gonna. Oops. This one is from the mama, and it is Christmas presents for Jared and I. The mail this year today is, um, for us to say that today is Thursday, December 29th. Um, and I feel like the mail this year, like, just really struggled over the holidays. Maybe I just have been more into packages. And sending stuff, living away from my family than I usually have been, but just felt really slow this year, um, which is fine. There's a little like ugh, butt hurt because I do. Um, this is a whole video for another day, but um, for the last like almost two years, actually. I have done Instacart and shipped um, to make some extra money just um, because it's a good way to make money and it's not a commitment like I can do it when I need to which I highly recommend during nursing school like it was it's been so great for me um, and also like a good way to clear my head and stuff but I also tried to get on with Amazon for delivering packages like the last six months and they're like oh we're we're full, we don't have, we're not accepting any people right now. And I'm like, well then why are my packages taking so long? Because I would work for you. Okay, finally. Oh my gosh, my mother is so cute. Midwest things, when you open a box and you can literally get a whiff of the puppy chow. 
I had no idea she was making this, so puppy chow, yum. Love that. And ooh, the snack mix with the Chex Mix. Love that. Ugh, mommy, we're an angel. Um, boy smokes. And she made chocolate covered pretzels. She's so cute. Chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> Oh my gosh, snacks to get me through these next few days at work. This Christmas was really difficult because um, my graduation for um, school was in, let's see, the weekend before Christmas. So it was December 16th and 17th. Um, so my mom, her boyfriend, and my best friend all came out here from Colorado. Um, so we were able to be with them um, and do so much stuff. Like literally they were here for four days and it was the best four days I have needed that and craved that for the entire time I was in this program. I just got to stop whatever I was doing, um, which we had just moved into our new apartment. So there was so much to be done, um, but I just stopped what I was doing and I got to spend so much time with them and it was literally amazing. Um, but the downside of that is mom was not here for Christmas and this was the first Christmas. Um, I am 28 years old that I have not spent with her. I am an only child and um, I'm mom's only child and I just really missed her. So we had to do Christmas gifts this way and just kind of is sad, but she gave me, got me a lot of stuff when she was here for graduation, um, a lot of graduation gifts. So very blessed, very lucky, um, but it was just different because we did not have family for um, Christmas. Okay, real quick, just a couple other things that my mom got me for Christmas. Um, I This was just too cute not to share. I feel like I always have stories about um, my patients, especially when I've had older adults or like little kids, just things that they say. Um, so this book is like a little journal of um, when was it said, where, um, how would you describe it? Funny, silly, creative, weird, um, and how old they are. Just a bunch of pages for that, which I thought was so cute. Um, she got me this little sign that said not all heroes wear capes, some wear scrubs. It's adorable. Um, then she got a couple pictures printed from graduation for Jared and I. Um, and this one I'm going to put above my um, diploma. I got a diploma frame um, from Jared for graduation. So when I, my diploma gets here, I'm going to put that up. Um, and the last thing I wanted to talk about was um, this little sign she made for me. It's so cute. Um, this is like our little saying that we've had. My mom has always said this to me. Um, we are big Kenny Chesney fans. And um, he has a song that says everything's going to be alright. Um, and Jared actually got EGBA -E engraved on my, oops, on my um, stethoscope that he got for me. Which is just so special and I just... I'm so blessed by both of them and I just love that little saying. And it's always what I tell my kiddos too because um, I've always wanted to go into peds. Um, I have a heart condition myself and just knowing my mom said this to me, I say this to my patients, so. I signed up yesterday to take my NCLEX. Um, and like I said, today is December 9th, um, 29th. December 29th, um, I am signing up to take it January 17th, um, so I think I have about oof, three weeks, which I do not feel like is a lot of time um, going back to work, um, and I am having surgery actually right after that, so um, I have a lot of anxiety about going back to work, um, I'm very nervous about it, and it just takes a large toll on my life right now for a lot of reasons, um, which I can get into probably in a video when I um, do not have this job anymore. Um, but it is just, it's very emotionally taxing and I just don't, um, I just don't feel like doing anything when I come home from work um, and sometimes before I go to work. So I need to be really on top of things. I have a plan of how I want to study, I think. Um, so I'm going to walk through that with you today. Today is going to be a planning for studying day. Um, and then hopefully from here on out, we can hit the ground running. It's really hard with it being the holidays. And um, I think we have some family coming in town um, this weekend, um, which is difficult because I'm already working a lot. 
um, I got two days, two days on, one day off, two days on. Um, my day off is January 1st, so um, we'll see how it goes. And um, we're just gonna do a plan today. Maybe we'll start studying. We'll see. This is love when I've been buried in my computer all day. Jared's at work. He surprises me by putting my favorite song on Alexa all throughout the apartment. Love him. Love him. guys so it is about five o'clock now um i've had a pretty busy day um doing some laundry trying to deal with like changing my address on a lot of stuff um like ordering sadie's food and um like so i can get my diploma and my work address so that things aren't keep like being forwarded to our old apartment um just Things like that that need to be done and I just haven't done yet. Um, and a little bit of cleaning and organizing, putting things away. Um, and now I'm actually gonna start on finally doing my NCLEX study plan. Um, I panicked a little bit because I don't have very much time and I'm working a lot now between now and then. Um, so I'm just a little stressed about that, but I'm gonna show you guys what I have for materials um, and kind of how I'm planning to go about this. I'm not gonna get to any studying today and that's okay. Um, I want to relax tonight and just enjoy my last night before I have to go back to work. Um, plus I just tend to get really anxious before going to work. So um, I just wanna chill night once Jared is home and we'll probably watch movies. Um, while I was sitting here, I just turned on Jurassic World 2 for a little bit. Um, I'm the biggest like Jurassic Park weirdo um, you could imagine. I don't know why, I just love dinosaurs. I always have and I just love them. So those movies like relax me and make me feel calm. So I'll probably end up watching those tonight. Um, but that's the plan for now. Okay, so, um, I have all my stuff out here on the floor. Um, I'm kind of getting used to our, the way our apartment is. We don't have an island or, like, anywhere to put bar stools, which is, like, the weirdest thing ever. Um, we don't even have room for a dining room table anywhere. Um, this apartment literally wasn't made for one with two bedrooms, which is really crazy. But, um, I didn't really feel like we needed one, um, so... I have all my stuff on the floor. Um, usually when I'm doing school or work stuff, um, I'll go down to the, there's a room right across the hallway from us that um, has a counter and everything. Like it's really nice for working on stuff, but with it being like right when everyone's getting off of work, it's just very loud out there right now. So I figured I'd do this instead. Okay, so here's my little setup of everything that I have. I've got my pens that my mom got me for Christmas. Um, all my pens that I usually use, um, my MacBook, my iPad, um, my schedule on it, and I printed out this calendar. Um, what I'm going to do first is put my schedule um, until my test day, which is right here. Um, we are really, like, pretty much right up here on the 29th of December, um, <clears throat> but I'm working the next few days, so it really doesn't matter anyway. Um, but I also was working on printing out um, this package that I purchased and um, here's what it looks like on here and I will be sure to link her shop. Um, I bought this on Etsy um, from this wonderful girl that made notes um, of Mark Kay's lectures. And um, if you're familiar with 
um, studying for the NCLEX. I've heard amazing things about Mark K. Um, I don't want to show too much of these. Um, the, there's three books on here that she did, and this one is 109 pages, so it's taking me a little bit to print it out, and my printer seemed to give out on the last page here. Um, but basically, he has um, 12 lectures, so um, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to study for each of those, um, and we'll work on my plan from there. just in life I'm kind of in this weird in-between phase where I have a job as a tech I've graduated nursing school and I am offered a job I have a job it starts um, February 27th but I have to pass the NCLEX first so that is like my big focus and it's a huge deal if you do not pass because um, you only get a certain amount of days um, which is 45 days I believe and if you fail you have to wait that period and then you can take it again. It's very expensive and you just don't want to do that. So I want to pass on the first time. So I'm really trying hard to figure out what's going to be the best way to study. Um, I've heard a lot about Mark K and a lot of people in my group have really um, been collaborating, I would say, to like figure out how the best way <laughs> is to study his stuff because he has so much stuff. Um, I did get access to his lectures, so I'm going with those um, because that seems to be a good way. And then all these notes. So my kind of a plan of attack is to go over those first. Like I said, there's 12. So I'm gonna try to split those up into doing like two of those a day at least, and maybe on my days off, like more than that. Um, they're about two hours each, I think. Um, and then listening to them again when I have time later. Um, but I think if I get through those and like make notes on them, he doesn't really offer like a lot of questions to do, um, which is where I struggle. So I'm gonna try to get the material down just because I have not taken a nursing school test per se, other than ATI things my last semester, um, since probably about July, um, which is just a lot. I hope that information is there still, um, but that's a long time to not have taken any nursing tests um so I'm really like wanting to focus on the content first <laughs> Sadie behind me <laughs> um and then from there just questions my I'm very blessed because my capstone um and my job that I have um, provided me with a Kaplan login so I have access to I think it's called the cat um, the way that they do those. Um, I was looking into it a little bit the other night. It looks like it's kind of like you work your way through it based on how you're doing. So I'm gonna um, try to do that when I get to questions. Um, I found some on Quizlet that are free just because I don't want to spend too much on all these reviews and stuff. Um, just because the test is so expensive in itself. Um, but so I'll probably do some questions on there, um, especially when I'm at work and just have a little bit of free time. I can hop on there and do some practice questions. Um, and then also, depending on how that goes, I was thinking about purchasing UWorld. Um, I think it's 30 days, or, yeah, 30 days. It's so like $140 and um, 2,000 questions. Um, they don't do self-assessments, but I did notice when I signed up for the NCLEX that they have assessments on there that you can do. I think it's two. So I will probably do one of those about halfway through my studying and one um, right before I take the test. And hopefully I don't feel like that was a bad idea. Because I don't want to be told, oh, you're not going to pass and then hmm, don't have any more time to study. So 
Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I do have to work my work schedule a little bit. Um, when I go back, I just need to switch with some people. Um, so I don't know exactly my schedule for sure for the month, but I'm gonna work on planning that out. And then um, I think that's probably gonna be it for planning for today. So now that I have this all kind of processed out in my head of my plan of attack, I'm going to um, go make dinner. I have this meal that we've been wanting to make um, that I'm gonna make and have leftovers for, um, for lunches for the next few days. So I'll bring you guys with me to do that. Um, but other than that, I'm just gonna kind of relax the rest of the night. So um, if I don't um, get on here to talk again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Um, hopefully we have a lot of new content coming here in the new year. Um, I have lots of plans for this channel and I can't wait to do it with you guys. So um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.